<laughs> what are you doing? Y'all gonna be going into work. Lisa, you included. Y'all are gonna be going into work as soon as the daughter go to school. If Lisa don't come in this time, we're gonna have a problem. And I think, I'm sorry, I know we got one employee, but I think her ass finna get fired because that little $15 hurt in my pocket. I don't got it. Whoa! What? Please, 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 not my rose bush in the back. And Lisa just calmly walking through the kitchen. You don't see that through the window? <laughs> Come on, girl, serve breakfast. Um, serve instant meal. Yeah, we don't need you burning up nothing else. We're drinking a can of meal for breakfast. Better than burnt anything. <laughs> Even though I'm gonna get my girl Lisa some cooking lessons. Get my sis cooking skill up. Oh, Tessa gotta go to school in a minute. I hope that she did her homework. I think she did. Tessa, watch your little bird for a second and then get your on the book good thing she wasn't that hungry she could just go to school for real dance together no she's going to school and we're going to work lisa we 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 are going to work lisa why do i need a babysitter she's at school you're just trying to steal my money we here with it lisa here today thank you lisa thank you so much lisa for coming into work today i appreciate you let me talk to you for a second oh not the customers already here come on girl you gotta be the cashier today armando cox why is she crying oh fear of roaches girl i would be crying too i'm be honest Fuck, no not y'all just start doing the two-step no he wants to give you a back rub lisa that's that get money dance i don't know we might do good today we might do good today let me go talk to these folks Lisa, you're going to be the cashier. Let me go greet my customer. I got two customers over here. Go greet these folks. I don't know why this lady went around to the back door. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Lisa, it doesn't even make sense for you to stand at the cash register. Hopefully, we could just peep when anybody goes to the register and we can help them out. Oh, hard sell. That's one of her sales interactions that we unlocked. So let's see. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, she's stressing him out. Okay, that's that's a little bit too much pressure on that man. You didn't even greet him. Damn, Um, my bad. Yeah, let's not do that. Damn. Damn, Lisa. The folks don't like your sales skill. You know what? Just, just go look pretty and stand behind the register. What are you doing over here? Okay, maybe we need an exterminator for our business because... What's going on? I guess we can't get an exterminator at our business. Oh, he bought something for real. Thank you. Lisa, why are you not at the register? Wait, why am I crying? Are you crying begging her to buy something? <laughs> and she's scratching her head. Why the hell is you crying in this lady face? Sorry about that, sir. I thought my wife would have done it, but she's not really good at anything except for sucking. Never mind. You know what? Um, That'll be... That'll be $600. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, and Lisa, your sales approach, like, what is it giving? The folks don't want to hear shit that you got to say. Every time when Lisa talk, it's negative, negative, negative. They don't want to hear nothing from you, Lisa. Sir, ring the customers up. What are you doing? He about to leave. Why would you do it? This is what... Oh, they playing. I was about to say... Lisa, I brought you here to work today, not to play water balloons with this random bitch outside. What are you doing? You really could have just stayed home. I did not have to pay the nanny. I did not have to pay no nanny if Lisa was just about to come here and be on all shenanigans. Lisa, you're not even working. Eureka, finally figuring out what some of those cash register keys do has earned Chico a bronze cash register talent bed. Whoa, and then he walked away. He didn't even ring up Armando Cox. Oh, he's cussing. Armando, you're not even tough. Be for real. Didn't Bigfoot whoop your ass? Give me this money and get the hell out of my face. Speaking of Bigfoot, speaking of that boy, <laughs> speaking of that boy, he done put up on the block. Let me greet my mans. Thank you, sir. Now get out of my store before I get Bigfoot on your ass. Ask about interest, what he might be looking for. Assess his mood. Why don't I have any sales interaction? Yeah, we need an exterminator on this lot. I don't know what the hell going on. Thank you, Lisa. For actually working for the first time ever after you hoes just finished playing water balloons outside. Not the song that came back on. Let's crank that hoe up. Nah, this song too far. I don't care. I don't care if they speak assemblage. This the one. 
See you later, Bigfoot, with that booty out. We ain't really making no money today, I'ma be honest. Yeah, he's buying stuff. I need to convince him to buy some more stuff. Ask on a date is crazy. How much money do you have? You got some money? Oh, Lisa. Bring up the customer. Why you in here crying? Get up and work. Greet him real quick. What would you like? We got complimentary hot dogs for the um for the people. Is Chico available to talk? Yeah. Bigfoot on the phone. I'm sniffing up my glizzies. Let me hit on him a little bit while my husband in the back. Whoa, he just mushed that bitch. He just mushed her like full hand to the face. I can't even believe it. Oh my gosh. Now he in love with her. No, sir. Get away from my wife. Why this lady just back here? Now he put the phone down on the floor. I never seen them put the phone on the floor. What the heck? Is it because this lady is in the way? What? Hey, Chico, you have a lot in common with my friend Solvij Futa? Mind if I give Solvij a number? I think you two would get along. I don't care. Who the fuck is Solvij? Can we please get this lady out the way? That's why they putting the phone on the floor. Get out the way. I'm about to close the store. I don't really see any profit in this store at all. Once we restock, we're going back down. Maybe it's because I don't know how business works, but where's the money? Oh, not the folks ended up not buying. Lisa. Gonna close the damn store. If y'all gonna buy somebody, if y'all not, get the hell out of my store. You got one last customer, two last customers, and Lisa about to do the restock. Once we restock, we dropping back down to eight thousand dollars because it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing going on now. Put us in a position to make some money, unless we end up getting a job. Well, not even just getting money, but more so a profit. There is no profit in this business. Chico has realized that a lot of empty shelves make even a ritzy boutique look like a fly by night flea market. That kind of insight wins a bronze stocking talent. Okay. Okay, thank you. Where is the profit? Next time we open, y'all better come with the band. Lisa didn't do shit at work today. We've been working, 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 and it ain't shit going on. No profit, no motion, no nothing. I don't care if it's raining outside, this little girl finna get her ass out here and sell this lemonade in the rain. The nanny is in here, right? Why am I paying the nanny if my daughter is at school? Um, excuse me, old lady, I'm here now. How much money I'm finna have to pay this lady? Where's she at? Oh, I can't click her. Did they pay her already? What the hell? Oh, who is this? Hey, girl. You want some lemonade from Big Daddy? Don't be shy. Bye. Don't be shy, baby girl. What, she gave me 50 cent for that bitch? What the f How much did it cost? Oh, he's talking about woo -hoo. He getting spicy. Spicy while his wife upstairs. Minding her business. She still ain't coming down. <laughs> Lisa said, I don't give a damn what he doing. I'm going to sleep, bitch. And he downstairs freaking with a young one. Baby girl. Yeah, oh, baby girl, I'm freaking with you. Let me make sure my wife is not waking up. Oh yeah, she's sleeping good, she's sleeping good. Look at my freaking knees. I can't ask to leave. Oh, say goodbye to her. Okay, cause I gotta get myself together. When Lisa wake up, Lisa needs to cook. And she needs to study. She definitely, definitely, excuse me, needs to study. Ben Landry is no longer a family friend. Suddenly she calling and she saying she not a family friend after she was just over here sneaking and freaking with your husband. She's no longer a family friend. She's more than a friend. Cause you was sleeping <laughs> and she was sneaking <laughs> off with your man. Don't burn these grilled cheese again, sis. I'm not playing with your ass. That man tired. Let him go to bed. Damn, I said play with the... What a kid. I said play with the teddy bear. She started beating that teddy bear ass. Come on, daughter of mine. Come sell this lemonade, girl. Oh, no. Don't sell this old funky lemonade. Will people still buy it? I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. Two hours later. I guess nobody want my lemonade because it got flies in it. But that just add like a little extra flavor. Oh, that man was coming to get some. Dang. That sucks. Hello, sir. Would you like to buy some lemonade? Thank you so much. You should have tried the one that I had with the flies in it. Thanks, sir. $14? Oh, wow. What the heck? I said it's a cheap. When I had it set to expensive, it was $16. Oh, we finna get money. Hello, sir. Would you like some lemonade? Yeah, don't walk past. Oh, dick. Oh, bitch. 
Don't ever play with my lemonade stand. All I did was ask you if you want some lemonade. You're going to come walk up and look at my shit and walk away. <laughs> Why did that man just play with me like that? Girl, your lemonade stand do not boom. Oh my goodness. We need to fill. We need to, uh, not, yeah, fill his bowl. No, close the cage. I swear, I think y'all just trying to set my bird free. I done paid all that damn money for that bird, bitch. Oh, look, my sis didn't burn it this time. I think at this time, I'm sorry, Lisa gonna have to get a job. We ain't seeing no profit in the business. <laughs> it's so crazy, I'm saying Lisa need to get a job. Like, it can't be the husband need to get a job. But the husband be doing his job. That man hard work, work, hard work, work. He be working hard, and what Lisa was doing? Playing on the computer, playing in her ass, laying on the couch playing water balloons with the random lady like girl you about to get a real job and you finna go clock in you think just because i'm the owner of the business you could just sit to the back in this suite get a job lisa adventurer look again test subject look again athletic career as a team mascot look again lisa Yep, now Lisa got a job. We need some money. We need more money. Now he got a little tip jar right here. Let me tip him. Let me give him a little $50. Is Chico available to talk? Who is this calling Chico at this time of night? You letting hoes call Chico at 11, 11.45 at night? Like that's not your man? Oh, don't call me about no damn magazine subscription at 11.45 at night? I'm over here and make you a TV dinner, Chico. Cause your wife already cooked that grilled cheese and you hungry. Oh, me and my boo. Me and my boo. Me and my boo. You might need to eat a TV dinner too. Oh, she can't make a TV dinner, but she can make herself some spaghetti. It's crazy to just make one singular bowl of spaghetti and not make nothing for nobody else. Come on, sir. I'm about to let him use it. What? Lisa, that's what you get for making one bowl of spaghetti. Can you extinguish it? Hello? Extinguish it. Y'all just stand around, jumping around, dancing. Extinguish it. Lisa, I can't. I can't trust you no more. And look, he like, oh, I still love you, Lisa. But damn, what? He's taking a whole bath in the kitchen? What are you doing? Yo, your wife just set the whole kitchen on fire and you get ass naked and start washing your ass with this big ass sponge. This is a goddamn car wash sponge, bitch. That shit really did turn him on. She started a fire and then he fell in love with her over again. And then he got ass naked. Okay, but can somebody tell me like... I never even seen that in The Sims 2. And when I click the sink, I don't have the option to wash my ass. So how did he just get that option? Look, he's so in love with her non-cooking ass. You know what? Get you a man that love you no matter what. I respect it. I mean, she almost killed all of y'all. She almost burned this whole house down. And you the only one who be working hard. She ain't paid for shit around this hole. Burn the whole house down. And you sitting here like, oh, love of my life. Love of my life. That's how he feels. <laughs> Love of my life, you are my friend. My daughter just hop up out the bed and get straight on the computer at 3.30 a.m. again. No, little girl. You don't want to be bit Woo. by the bird. Girl, you better take care of this bird. I don't even hear the bird no more. His ass going to be dead. <laughs> I mean, not to laugh, but she. You better go take care of that goddamn bird I paid all that money for. What kind of parent lets a child go hungry? Tessa just skinning bones. <laughs> Girl, put this bird back in here. Tessa is just skinning bones. Tessa is fine. That's what I think. Put the bird away. Close the door. Close it. Close the bird cage. I'm about to make you eat this bird for dinner if you don't. Why are you going to sleep? This bird better not go downstairs. Oh my goodness, not again. Bird, please come back. Do not go downstairs. I don't even know if the bird can fly downstairs, but please don't do it, bird. I need the mom to put the bird away. Somebody put the fucking bird away. Okay, there it go. Girl, get up and close this bird cage. Not the bird came back out again. As long as it don't go downstairs, but please. Damn, Tessa got to go to school. I didn't even feed her. Hopefully, they feed her at school. Hopefully, they don't call them folks on me. Okay, can we please close the bird back in here? The bird closed its own cage? I need the dad to clean the bird cage. Oh, the mom got to go to work too? Oh, y'all is stressing me in this house. I'm going to be honest. All right, let's get the bills and pay the bills. Why are you leaving the bills outside? 256. I ain't finna talk to you. 
That's the setup. As soon as my wife go to work, suddenly you like, oh, I'm in love with you. Get the hell away from me. I don't know if we're gonna have any profit in the business ever. It's kind of making it discouraging for me to go to work. Is Lisa available to talk? No, Lisa got a job now. So she can't just sit on the phone and kiki -ki and tee hee hee with you hoes no more. So stop calling my phone. Thank you. We're gonna try one more shift at work. I need some type of profit. Mark that shit up. The folks gotta come spin. Spin. Spin something, please. I'm trying to make $15,000. Ain't no such thing as making $15,000 when you gotta restock that hoe. Where is the profit? <laughs> Back at work again. I got everything marked up. I think. Oh, see? The rich is pulling up now. The doctors and the lawyers is pulling up now. Yeah. Come spend that money. Greet that man. Greet all the customers as they come right through the door. I saw one of them sneak through the back. I'm going to greet him too. Where he at? Yep. Greet him. They looking at the cheapest thing here. $68. I came in here on a mission. Joke with all my customers. Yeah. I mean, y'all buying the cheapest possible thing in my whole store, but still. I appreciate you guys. And my boy got better with the cash register. It's not going to hit him when it opens. It shouldn't, at least. Hopefully not. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Running the business for real. $68 is crazy, though. I should be making more than $68. Hey, I got rank four. You gain the point to spend on business perks. Oh, I do have to do my business perks, though. What are you writing down? I've been investigating your business. And I think it's top notch. I'm writing a good review. Oh, that's what he was writing. Wow, you really know what you're doing. Ramirez Fine Furniture impressed me so much that I'm giving you the best of the best award. Whenever you want to display it, just look for it in Chico's inventory, period. I got to step it up. If y'all going to buy something, let me know. Greet the folks. He bought something and then he kept shopping. Yes, that restock be a bit. Exactly. Where is the profit? Once you restock, you back where you started. Like, what the hell? I know that's not who I think it is outside. Oh, that's the lady so beige. Oh, Bigfoot got him a bag. He ready to buy. Late night at the furniture store. It's kind of booming out this home. Every time I try to talk to them, they be like, get the hell out of my face. Oh, the people is ready to buy. They ready. Bigfoot be at this store every day. He be buying stuff, but I know his ass be stealing on the low. He taking something home because mm -mm, I don't trust him. I don't trust Bigfoot at all. Still got the brown bag. Is it only the brown bag and the blue bag? Or can people spend like a bigger bag? I need my 15,000. Furniture store simulator. Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a good one. I appreciate you. Thanks for shopping at the shop. They kind of buying me out. It looks like you're gaining fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Yeah, because I be working hard and I got the best furniture in the city. Y'all be getting that cheap ass furniture as soon as you sit down. Yo, let's go through that. <laughs> My boy Chico moving that furniture. No, he put the bags down because you sitting here talking. Let's see if he'll buy something else, sir. Please do buy something else. Let's gossip a little bit. Let's just chat. Tell a story about fame. Yeah, I'm getting famous off of this store right here. I might change my name to Olivia. Bigfoot buying something again. Oh, somebody dropped their bags again. Oh my goodness. This is why I'm going to have to get me a goddamn cashier. This man's just been in here looking around all day. Like, bro, is you ready to buy or not? Tell him a joke back here. What you doing, sir? What you doing back here? Stealing? Let me know if you need help with anything, but I would hate for you to be back here stealing. Say goodbye. What does she mean, say goodbye? She finna steal something? That boy got that blue bag. Thank you so much, sir. I'm glad you found something that you just might like. Folks put a whole couch in that blue bag. <laughs> oh, we got the 15,000. <laughs> but then when I restock, like, what the f who is this? He trying to get a job? He's just walking up to the register, standing here. Hello, sir. Do you need help? He said, y'all niggas hiring. <laughs> Why don't he want to talk to him? I'm telling him to Who's greet this it? man, but he refused. Oh, I guess he already did it. Not Carlos Contender pulling up to shop too. Hey, sir. I got the 15,000, but I need to make like a little bit more than 15,000. So then that way my restock won't hurt that bad. I feel like the restock might put me back down to like 13K, maybe. Uh, I say that with the biggest fattest maybe ever. Oh, 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 stop hanging out. Bring up the customer. This man back here looking for something. Sir, it's not anything back there for sale. That's the break room. 
Thank you for spending with us. Have a good one. You need help back here, sir? What are you looking for? There's so many people back here. Get money. I feel like I just need to keep telling my customers some jokes. You know, um, uh, chat with uh, them a little bit, gossip a little bit, talk about music and dance with that man. Oh, they going to the register. Well, she is, not him. I don't know what she buying, but I hope it's worth something. What you got, sis? She got the brown paper bag. Brown paper bag. Wait, he not trying to buy nothing? Why did it just fizz out over his head like that? Like that little smoke? You don't want to buy from my stove? Like what? It's not good enough. This is not cheap. This is real high quality. <laughs> shit. I think it's harder for them to buy it too because I marked all the prices up, so it made it like kind of tough. And y'all all stuffed in this back corner. I can't talk to all of y'all back here anyway. Oh, they done brought this whole room out over here. Oh, that's my little side piece. Why are you gonna give me a hug and leave? Cause I call you my side piece. Why she running? Flies out. Nah, you just stopped running cause you got caught. Why was you coming out here to talk to him with that fat? forehead all right let's go ring up the customers this lady been pregnant forever will this lady ever have her baby unless she just having multiple babies every time i see her back to back to back damn it's so much harder for them to buy anything even though we have made some money we have made some money i can't lie i'm gonna have to get some employees sadly and we about to close the stuff. Everybody, y'all can go on ahead and wrap it up. Thank you all for coming through. $17,000. This is where we end them right here. What is the damage on the restock? In the chat right now, just, just drop some numbers. How much money are we going to have left after the restock? I'm going to say we'll have about 11000 Maybe. Can I please have 11000 No, I can't no is the restock the same amount that they paid me because at this point where is my freaking profit there will never be any profit in this store i hate it here you got roaches everywhere that's why don't nobody want to spin with you then when they do spin with you the restock costs just as much i'm done playing here you guys i'm sitting here trying to run the business and that business running me <laughs> nine thousand dollars i made 16 well basically seven or eight but like what i come back home to this goddamn hell hole it's like <laughs> i hope y'all enjoyed the stream with my boy what's my boy name oh yeah i do have to do my business perks okay so that's what we'll do we'll come back to this household and when we come back to this household we'll like set up the business perks and hopefully it'll put us in a position to do like a bit better as far as restock because then maybe we might start seeing some profit in the goddamn business